welcome to a new video and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel and welcome to Cozumel. Today we're going to make a new video. We're actually at the Portamaya Cruise Terminal and today we're going to make a video about how to catch a taxi in Cozumel and how to get a taxi to go to the beach, to go to the shops and wherever you want to go. Now this is going to be a fairly simple video. Uh, you've already seen that we've just walked off the ship, we've walked down the gangway, we've actually got to the end of the pier where the shops are. So if you have been to Cozumel before, you've been to Portamaya Cruise Terminal, you'll kind of know where we are now. We're actually just walking down the side lane of the shop. Uh, getting off the ship, it's not a requirement to walk through the shop. You can go either through the store or you can walk on the side here where I am. So it's a little bit shaded too. So, And you can get through the shop a little bit, you can get through the terminal a little bit quicker by not going through the uh, kind of crowd in the shop. You can see all the ships right behind me there, lots of ships in port today. Now, I, I do see a lot of posts on social media about people's fear of catching taxis in Cozumel. So hopefully this little video will just show you the basics about how to catch a taxi, where they're from, where they're leaving to, and that's about it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get to the end of the pier here, and then we're gonna walk through the little shopping area in the Puerto Maya Cruise Terminal, and we're gonna find the taxi rank, we're gonna check out the prices for the taxis, and off we go. All right, stick around guys, keep watching the video, and I hope you like this uh, how to catch a taxi in Cozumel video. Okay, let's keep going, shall we? Okay, so we've just walked through that last part there where the kind of the reverse security is to get back on the ship. And you'll see right in front of me here the, uh, the duty-free shops to walk back onto the ships. And we'll just get our bearings, let's do a little bit of a walk around right here. You'll see three amigos here on one side. Nice bar if you want to have something to eat or drink or uh, just relax, look at the ships. Uh, let's spin around to the right a little bit. We go see the very famous Fat Tuesdays right here. And actually, there is a little sign here that tells you the ships that are in port today, what date it is. You'll see the 22nd of January. So if you watch this you know, down the track a few months or not, you'll see right there. And then there is the kind of this uh, nice little photo stop here, this little statue which is meant to look like the Chichen Itza ruins that's over on the mainland of Mexico. It's a good meeting point as well. You see everyone just relaxing here on the, on the steps. So yeah, beautiful day here in Cozumel. Now the one thing that's important when you get off the ship is uh, if you get off in the early morning, this sort of general area right here is actually where all the shore excursions meet. And you'll see a little bit more crowds. This is kind of an afternoon video. I thought I'd do this in the afternoon. Um, and the one thing that's a little bit difficult is just to figure out that little sort of uh, exit out of the cruise terminal. So, of course, I know where it is, haven't been here so many times. But simply, we kind of just make our way through the shopping area here. What we'll do is we'll walk down this left-hand side. So we'll go along the edge of where the Fat Tuesdays bar is and restaurant. We'll see Diamonds International here. Got a little bit of music playing, lots of people coming back to the ships now with all their shopping and all their wares from going outside. If you haven't seen the uh, Puerto Maya Cruise Terminal walk around video, I've actually made that one uh, kind of a while back now. It's a bit of a longer video of all the details of the shops here in the cruise terminal. You'll see here the rum cake shop on the right hand side. So you can just simply walk along this left hand kind of avenue. You'll actually see, interestingly, no one probably notices this, but there's these little signs right here. This is called Avenida uh, Chichen Itza. So they've actually named each of the little kind of laneways after a different area here in the, in the Cozumel and the Yucatan area. So yeah, lots of people kind of flocking back now with three ships in port today. Of course, a little bit more crowded than normal, I guess. And normal, I don't know what normal is. Three ships is kind of the most that can dock here at the Carnival Terminal, so... So we're just going to do this in real time. We're going to walk out to the taxi stand. And we're going to go check out what the prices are. And see where we can go. Now, of course, all of these videos that I do are rather detailed. Now, I know a lot of people like the channel because of that. They like the videos of how to get to the beach. They like the walk-arounds on the ship. So this is definitely a uh, video for you. What we'll do, we'll keep walking straight. Let's have a quick look back at the ships here, shall we? Today, Carnival Fantasy is here, Carnival Victory, and Carnival Dream. Kind of three classes of Carnival ships over the years. The Fantasy was the first in the Fantasy class ships, and then all the ships after that, Sensation, Imagination, uh, Inspiration, were all named basically after the first Fantasy ship, so the Fantasy class. 
and then actually the victory is considered dream uh, is considered sorry considered the destiny class or victory class being sister ships there's a little confusion which one it is but and then we're at carnival dream so we're dream class there's dream vista horizon and now panorama there's a nice little uh cenote here right on the right hand side now, if you have watched other videos i do walk around this cruise terminal a fair bit and make other sort of broken down videos so there is a bit of a kind of a beach area here that you can't get in the water but there's some chairs there's some sand plenty of places to just chill out there's a little outdoor exhibit right here talking about the uh the reef system so we're just going to turn right just here we're going to go around this kind of tropical kind of garden part and then slowly once we get past this next kind of flea market stand we're going to see the uh, kind of big uh, awning or gazebo which kind of marks where we'd walk out to the taxis so yeah now, Los Cinco Soles here if you need some uh, Mexican souvenirs uh, Milano Diamond Gallery Jewelry. All right, so this is the main exit from the cruise terminal. So of course you could walk straight ahead where I am here and go back to the ship this way. Oh, there we go. Somebody wants to catch themselves in the video. And we'll see this huge uh, kind of thatch straw roof gazebo. This is the main exit out to the cruise terminal. Out of the cruise terminal, we're going to go right under this, and then. We're going to slowly see the taxis. Now, of course, being the afternoon, everyone's walking towards me. Do you notice that? And there's very few people walking with me out of the terminal. This is now just after 2 p.m. So, of course, there's not as much crowds here. So, if you were going to do your own ex uh, excursion or tour or just catch a taxi to the beach, go shopping, this is where you'd walk out. So, we'll see here on the right-hand side. This is actually probably a perfect time to do the video as well. I'm going to see if we can see this one little photo opportunity on the right left hand side where you can actually get a photo with the Porta Meyer kind of stone sign. A lot of people walk right past this. It's a great little photo spot. There's one guy walking out now to the picture of it and he can stop for a photo of these uh, big stones for Porta Meyer right here. Can you see that? So that's kind of cool. It's a little bit of a photo op. There's a lady just down here taking a photo somewhere there. So yeah, let's go and check out the taxi, shall we? And this is the whole reason for the video, how to catch a taxi in Cozumel. So this is kind of the sign right here where they've got all the prices for the taxis. Now, if you come in the early morning, there's usually a few of the different dispatchers that dispatch the taxis. There's a lady right here still. If people still want to catch a taxi this late, there's one lady in the dispatching and then there's actually cars lined up. And then we'll actually see here the prices so the one thing that's important with taxis in Cozumel is they're basically it's per car. So you can get a car with up to four people. You'll see here one to four passengers and then five passengers and then six to eight. So they have cars or vans. So basically downtown is $8. So if you're one person, it's $8. If you're four people, it's $8. So that's uh, regardless. And if you can share with somebody else, okay, you split the price and it's a cheaper deal. Now, actually, if you have a look down here, then now you've got here player, beach parks. So we've got Dolphinaris, Stingrays, Chancanab. There's Alberto's. So Player Mia, Mr. Sanchez, Nachi Kokum. Come across here, it's $17. Carlos and Charlie, San Francisco, and Paradise Beach, $15. So that's basically on the four, up to four people in a car. And then $30 or $34 from six to eight people so again if you're coming as a couple or alone or in a group you can't basically have that different size cars you'd have to split up into groups to catch different uh, cars there is also airport pricing and hospitals i guess if you want to go to the hospitals but a lot of people want to go to the different beach clubs mr sancho's nachi coca and paradise beach um uh, there's punta zoo which is basically about as far on the other side of the island as possible uh, Playa Bonita here, different beaches. So yeah, you'd basically just walk out here literally. And then this is one of the taxi dispatchers right here. They're always running away when I've got the camera. And then you'll literally walk over here to this sort of taxi rank. 
and the cars are waiting. So you'll see here now there's basically four different cars, or three different cars that are four seat cars. So basically, if you want to go to say uh, Paradise Beach, where you've seen my, I have another video, I've done that. It's $15 to get to Paradise Beach. And then uh, it's $15 for the car for four people. So yeah, let's start right there. And then we'll actually just have a little wander over here back out into the sun. And you'll see these larger minibuses. These are these Toyota Hiaces, which can then fit multiple amounts of people. I guess that's the seven or eight people. Actually a group of people just getting out of one of them right here. So for me, uh, one of the main concerns, you'll see one of them just pulling off here, number 82. Now, uh, always take note of this uh, taxi number two. If you happen to leave anything in there, you know, like a towel or anything like that, oh, helicopter went right over the top. You'd be able to recover lost and found quite easy. If you remember that taxi number, it's not awfully important, but if you do happen to leave your phone or a towel or your bag in the back, uh, it's very easy to recover it by knowing that taxi number or even the driver's name, if you knew that. So again, you'll see here the four-person taxis, and then those minibuses, those Toyota Cosas, which are the larger group buses. So uh, again, the most important parts about catching the taxi is firstly, of course, walking out to the taxi rank. And then uh, generally in the morning time, there's a bit of a line here, but a lot of people are going to the same places. So it'd be, easy, it'd be easy sometimes to kind of group up and share taxis to the same place. You'll see them all, uh, most of them all coming back now and dropping people off, returning from a day out. So yeah, I think it's, for me, it's very easy to catch a taxi in Cozumel. It's definitely not as busy now, uh, being the afternoon, a lot of people are slowly coming back from uh, excursions. There's another one of the taxi dispatchers right there. Hola, señor. All How right. It's so nice and easy to catch a taxi here, right? Very easy. Over there. Yeah, you just get to tell uh, where you want to go. Anywhere. And then four persons, five persons, or eight. seven or eight. No, eight persons. Maximum person. eight in the minivans. In the minivans, yeah. So if you're coming with nine, you're going to have to split up. So if you've got you four... Have big ones. Yeah. How about 14 passengers? Oh, 14 passenger vans as yeah. well. Oh, wow. That one. Uh, oh, okay, that's up to 14. Oh, there we go. So that's kind of basically like a super taxi. Yeah. All right. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at that sign one more time. So again, the price is a fixed taxi price. You're not negotiating. It's basically a one-off price one way and a one-off price on the way back. So wherever you're going to go to, you're going to pay the same amount in return. So again, where you can group up with other people just makes a lot of sense to get that tire lower price taxi uh, rate. So yeah, I hope this has uh, proved uh, helpful for you. And you can get an idea of where we are and the location. This big uh, sort of thatch straw gazebo, come out to the taxi stand, have a look for one of the dispatchers. You'll see them over here now. There's a there's, uh, couple of uh, dispatchers here. They know in the afternoon there's not as many people wanting taxis. So, but in the morning time, it's very fast. You'll see the whole parking lot full of these white taxis and they just go, 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 go. And it's not, I mean, it's only slow when there's maybe, you know, a lot of people undecided. So once you know where you want to go, go to the rank and get the taxi where you want to go to. Okay, everybody. So I've just got to the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've uh, found this video very helpful on how to catch a taxi from the Puerto Maya cruise terminal in Cozumel. Uh, I always like to do an ending to my videos, so I'm actually on the bus now in Progresso. I'm uh, just about to start making a new video, so stay uh, with the channel. If you haven't subscribed to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, everybody. All right. <laughs> uh, maybe post a comment. Maybe you've caught taxis before in Cozumel. Oh, the bus is a bit bumpy. Uh, so yeah, I always like to do endings to all my videos, so uh, I didn't do it yesterday. I am in Progresso today, so yeah, thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, and have a good day, everybody, and maybe check out some of the other videos in the channel or in the playlists. Okay, everybody, bye, bye, <laughs> bye.